We have children who are losing their lives with therapies that are ineffective or only partially effective. And we have to change the paradigm. We have to change the approach. When Fernando presented me the Medulla Blastoma Initiative, it wasn't uh, difficult uh, for me and my family to make the decision to join this effort. I have no doubt that uh, having Fernando leading MBI is a guarantee that the funds raised will be well invested. Can we do parallel play? Can we do the research, the preclinical testing, and then within a finite period of time, not five years, not 10 years, not unfortunately one year, but in a two year or so period, could we deliver protocols that were different, approaches that were different, that would have a possibility of curing more children? I was very, very impressed since the, the beginning uh, by the credentials of these many talented people that, uh, that he was able to attract and, and, and the support uh, he was able to harness from these top research uh, institutions in Canada, US, and Germany. Uh, this is this is unique. This is uh, I've never seen uh, a Brazilian individual being able to go so far as Fernando. Getting a new vaccine immunotherapy approach to the FDA in a two and a half year period from idea to conception to delivery is pretty unheard of. And getting in and hopefully now personalized therapies right after that is fairly unheard of. And are they going to be successful? God, we hope so. I've been doing this for 40 years, taking care of children with brain tumors. This is an unparalleled opportunity.